YouTube, what is going on? Back my latest video. So today I just wanted to talk about a few different news and announcements that Funko dropped this past week. A couple drops that it did and also want to announce the giveaway winner of this Metalhead Funko Pop. So let's get right into it. guys before we get into this video please smash that like button down below let me know you guys are enjoying these videos and as always if you're new to this channel welcome and hit subscribe button down below as well so you're updated to my most recent content and hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as i post a new video so what i like to try to do every week is just talk about the recent announcements and drops that funko um, announced over the past week some pretty cool things they did drop and i do want to make sure we give away a funko pop this week as well and make sure you stay tuned for this week's drop uh, as far as the giveaway is concerned so first pop i'm going to talk about the funko announced this week was the super saiyan 2 goku so i like this one you know it seems like they're doing this whole thing now where they have the uh, lightning and um, the same kind of mold they did for Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, which is one of my favorite pops of all time. Um, you know, Goku Super Saiyan 2 didn't happen too much in Dragon Ball um, Z, so I'm not really feeling this one as much as I was definitely feeling the Go Gohan and even the Cell pop that had the same kind of uh, look. Um, but it's still cool. It's a glow in the dark one, so um, if I come across it, I might grab it. Um, but we just always get more and more Gokus, and I think this was a Go Calendars exclusive, if I remember correctly. Um, or PX exclusive, I forget which one. If you know, drop down in the comment section below. But definitely one worth mentioning. Um, you know, anytime there's a new Dragon Ball Z pop, I'm always excited to see what it looks like. And uh, even though this one is a character that we've already gotten before, the mold still looks pretty cool. Um, so I thought it was definitely worth mentioning and definitely a cool one for Dragon Ball Z collectors if you don't have many Goku pops in your collection. So definitely a cool pop. Make sure you have your eye out for when this one's dropping. So that Goku Pop actually is a PX exclusive and it is actually available on Entertainment Earth. If you're looking to order any of these pops on pre-order, I do have a link in the description box below. You can order these all these pops on Entertainment Earth and uh, the guarantee con uh, mint condition as well. So definitely a cool resource if you're interested in picking up any of these pops. So the second thing I want to talk about is the new Pokemon Wave. So this is very, very exciting for me. There is two pops in there I'm really excited about, uh, the Mew and the Raichu. The Ponytop's pretty cool, and that Pikachu to me is just trash. So um, I figured that this was going to happen with Funko. Um, there's hundreds and hundreds of, of Pokemon, literally at this point, that they can make. And it seems like they're going to do the same thing they do like Dragon Ball Z, where they uh, have to include Goku in every Dragon Ball Z, Goku and Vegeta in every single Dragon Ball Z wave. It appears that they're going to have to include Pikachu in every single wave of Pokemon, which is fine with me. There's so many different Pikachus out there, but this shiny, uh, it's not even shiny, I don't know what it is. It's silver Pikachu. Um, I don't understand that one at all. You know, you could get surfing Pikachu, you could do this, the Pikachu with the balloon. Uh, there's so many Pikachu things and cards and um, variations that come out over the years that there's so many different things they could just do with Pikachu. So to see them already reverting to doing chromed out Pikachus sucks to me. Um, hopefully they're moving forward, they have some more creativity with these. Um, but that Mew and that Raichu are really, really dope. Um, Raichu is one of the most slept on Pokemon of all time to me, just because everyone loves Pikachu so much, they forget that Raichu does exist. And uh, I think this one looks better than any of the Pikachu ones. And this Mew Pop is really, really dope and be a, uh, a must have for me in my collection. So hopefully we get a lot more Pokemon stuff coming out. Um, that Ponyta is cool. I never was a Ponyta. Um, fans so I, I don't know if i'll get it or not um if it comes across in like a mystery box or something obviously i'll keep it um but definitely need to track down that mute and ride you but let me know what your favorite was in the comment section below up next we have a pop from the icons line we have bozo with the clown so this is a uh, one i definitely uh, plan on picking up um you know bozo the clown's an icon icon you know and definitely deserves a funko pop so um it, i like to add icons the icons kind of fit into that as well i have them on my ad icon wall. Um, this one's definitely uh, one I want to pick up. I think they did a really good job with the look of the Funko Pop and uh, overall just really a, a cool one and definitely one that's a must have for any collector out there. Um, so definitely worth mentioning. I don't think this one's out yet. It is available for pre-order, um, but I think this one's going to be a common. It's not like exclusive to any store or con. So it, it definitely will be easy one to get if you're looking to add it. So for those that don't follow me on Instagram, you probably don't know, 
but I have finally started to watch The Mandalorian. So it actually is a pretty good show. I finished the first season, so I'm going to be starting the second season very, very soon. And uh, there's a pop that came out that I finally understand who it is and why it's uh, appreciated by Star Wars fans. And that's the IG-11 with the child uh, bundle from GameStop. So this pop, I think, dropped yesterday. Um, it, I don't know if it's sold out or what. If you know, drop down in the comment section below. But it's a pretty cool bundle. I, I like this pop. Um, I don't know if I'll get it for myself just because I'm still not really a Star Wars collector. Uh, I think once I go down the rabbit hole, it's, no, it's non-stop. Um, most people don't know. I, I've seen all the Star Wars movies other than the newest two. Um, I, I like Star Wars. I just don't collect the stuff. I do have that Mandalorian pop back there. Now that I've seen the show, I definitely appreciate it a little bit more. Um, but this IG-11, pretty, pretty cool pop. And uh, with a t-shirt bundle, I would definitely urge patience on these. GameStop has a history of restocking the t-shirt bundles. Um, most of them end up going on sale later than the line. I know most of the ones I've gotten, I've gotten for like 10 bucks. So um, if it has sold out, maybe exercise patience. I don't know if you should pay. If it's a resale price above retail, I think you should wait and hopefully it restocks and hopefully it restocks for cheaper. So that's just my advice, you know, being around for a while and seeing these pops coming out. Um, I definitely would urge caution and patience with these uh, t-shirt bundles, but definitely one to pick up if you do see it for a good price. And last but not least, the line I want to talk about I was really, really upset that I missed out on this yesterday with the Funko Shop drop of the Masters of the Universe pop. So we had the Grizzlor uh, flock, we had the Skeletor on Panther flock, and we had uh, the Skeletor art series. So I uh, missed out on all of these. Um, I, whatever happened, the Funko's uh, website wasn't loading, allowing me to get onto the website. Um, normally I'm pretty good with getting Funko Shops drops. I don't really miss out on too many that I want. Um, this one I missed out on, so there's a lot of hype around these, um, and deservingly so, because these pops are really, really fire. So um, hopefully I track them down at some point. Uh, I definitely want to get the, the art series um, Skeletor and also the one with the Panther. Um, I think the resale prices are definitely going above retail right now. So um, really, really cool pops. Um, I think all of them are fire. Um, the Grizzlor, there is one that's not Flock, but I definitely want to get the Flock one since the toy is Flock. So I thought that makes a whole lot of sense. Um, but in general, really, really cool things. Funko's done a really good job with the Masters of the Universe line this year so far. Um, probably one of the best lines that they've done total. Um, maybe I'll do a, a top 10 Funko Pop lines for the year. That'd be a really cool video. Um, but that um, Master Universe line they dropped yesterday was very, very, very cool. Hopefully you guys out there got lucky and got some. If you did, let me know in the comment section below what you got, but really, really cool stuff. So that's all I have as far as the drops. Again, a little bit of a light week. I think just, you know, at the end of the year, Christmas time, it's the light weeks have seemed to be happening for Funko Pops or comic books for everything. People just kind of phasing out the year, year and, and starting the 2021 with a bang. But I do want to give away this Metalhead Funko Pop, so let's see who the winner of that is. All right, guys, so I have the link in here. Let's see what we got. I'm going to filter out the duplicate users just so no one's getting entered twice. And let's see what we got. We have 100 comments, 100 unique comments. All right, that's a pretty good number, so good luck to everybody. And let's see who the winner of the Funko Pop this week is. All right, so we have One Stop Books. You are the giveaway winner for this week's Metalhead Funko Pop. So as always, if you're domestic, I will send it out to you for free. If you're international, we'll split the cost. Hit me up on Instagram or on uh, email at popsavage15 at gmail.com. Congratulations. All right, guys, so congratulations to One Stop Books on this Metalhead Funko Pop. Hit me up so I can send it out to you. And if you didn't win this one, like I said, I'll be doing giveaways every single week. Um, from here on out, that's the goal. I do have some stuff coming in that I bought just to give away. Um, that should be here today, so stay tuned for a future video on what those pops will be that I give away. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me know your favorite drop in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite thing was um, from that I announced this week. And uh, yeah, just let me know how you're doing. So let me uh, know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check me out on my second channel at Savage Breaks if you're interested in Pokemon and sports cards. And thanks so much again, guys. Until next time, I'll see you later.